Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of EV Buyer's Guide, and today we're talking about a controversial subject, to frunk or not to frunk, and uh, with me I have Andre from TFL Car here, and we have a new Volkswagen ID4 all-wheel drive and a 2021 Ford Mustang Mach-E, and one of these has a frunk. Yes, um, this is a very curious subject. Uh, I have my opinion. Yes, and you are a frunk lover, as I recall. Yes, actually, I'm a utility guy. We, you should, know, we I, should trade spaces here, because you're a frunk lover. Okay. And I am frunk agnostic. Okay, so should we open them up? Yes, let's see? open them up and see okay. what's actually under there. Let's pause the story there for just a moment and talk about how big each of these EVs is. As you can see by the side profile, the two vehicles aren't far off in terms of their general shape. Even though the Mach-E is trying to be a little bit sleeker, the reality is the black portion above the body colored portion is quite similar. Now the Mach-E is bigger, it's 5.3 inches longer and the wheelbase is considerably longer, 8.6 inches. That's the main reason we find about 1.7 inches more legroom in the Mach-E. The extra length of the Mach-E goes a little bit to the legroom, about 1.7 inches, and a lot to the front trunk area. And that's why it actually has a little bit more cargo room than we find in the ID4. If you combine the cargo area in the back with the cargo area in the front, it's about 4.2 cubic feet more. Now, the reason this is controversial is because a lot of folks out there say, if it's a brand new electric vehicle platform, it should always have a frunk, that there's no excuse for not having a frunk. Uh, so under here, we have a traditional trunk. Let's just pop that open there. Okay. And uh, in here, we have some crush space. We have the HVAC system, the front electric motors under there yes. somewhere, 12 volt battery back there, coolant reservoirs, fuses, that sort of thing. What do you got under your hood? Yeah, well, so this, under my hood. This is uh, very traditional. Yeah. Um, so, but here, uh, we actually have your bag. That's true. Yes, we have a camera bag, 22 inch bag there. Yes. Room for more charging cables. It can act like a cooler. Yes. And um, even the child safety or, you know, mm -hmm. human safety switch. Yeah. But you know, what is the difference here between these two? Because I mean, you can clearly see the size difference. I can grab the windshield wiper from here. Yes. Uh, we're about the same height. Can you grab that windshield wiper easily? No, I would yeah. have to lean over. So yeah. you can see this front section is way, way longer. If I, if exactly. I tip myself over, I can kind of grab this. Uh, but dude, there is no traditional combustion engine. So I like this and also like the styling of the Maki. I do like the styling. Yeah. So. I, I am for frunks mm -hmm. for so that this reason. A, this is an interesting question and an interesting thing. So, uh, you know, the claim is that in an EV platform, we're, we're not bound by traditional ice styling. That's what rules, I would like to think. Right? That's what we like to yeah. think. But this styling is much more traditional ice styling <laughs> than this because, uh, you know, we have this long hood profile. Why do we have a long hood profile? Well, there's no engine there. There's a front trunk there. Yeah. But why does the front trunk need to be there? Well, it's especially, I think, will be key for other vehicles like pickups, mm -hmm. the electric, electrified pickups, because in a regular pickup truck, you have an open bed. Mm -hmm. So if you want to store something securely, right. this would be out of sight, out of mind, and you can put something in there. Exactly. But those are definitely, you know, ice platform vehicles that have been electrified, converted. So that's why there is that space. And these two are both clean sheet EV only designs on new EV only platforms. And the difference, I think, really just ends up being the length of the vehicle because the ID4 is about six inches shorter. And guess what? The bulk of this front trunk here, it's about six inches. So that is really where that difference comes from. I don't know what else to say, but I just like the utility of this. Yeah, I like the utility too. I'm just, again, I'm not, I'm not a front hater, but I'm, I'm agnostic because, uh, you know, in a rational world, six inches up here, the sectional profile of the front gives you bag storage space for one bag but if you put that six inches on the back of the vehicle and stretch the cargo area you'd actually fit more luggage in your new ev hmm but you wouldn't have this long hood profile i mean this hood's long enough you could put an inline six under there if this was an actual mustang you could have a big v8 or an inline six under there and there's nothing wrong with that <laughs> I think bottom line for me, whether you like a frunk or you don't like a frunk, there are EVs for you out there. And I think that my biggest thing is the EV platform bashing, I guess. You know, there's nothing wrong with Volkswagen choosing this direction, having a shorter, more compact hood, making the vehicle easier to park. But there's also nothing wrong with the sleek and sexy long hood thing if you want a bag under there. 
Absolutely agree. So it's just whatever is your preference, you have options. And both of these are about $51,000 or can be had can for that had. much yep. money. That's true. So yep. it's really up to you to decide. Yeah. Pick your, pick your poison, I guess you'd say. Uh, so with that out of the way, let's uh, hit that subscribe button down there if you haven't already done so. Also check out Alex on Autos. That's the sister channel to EV Buyer's Guide. Uh, and of course, alexonautos.com, et cetera, all those other places. And you can find Andre over at TFL. All the T TFLs. Yeah, TFL Truck and also TFL-Studios.com is our website where everything TFL yeah. lives. Everything TFL. TFL Trucks and Motorcycles and Off-Roads off and Class EVs classics. and heavy equipment coming soon. And, yeah. uh, <laughs> and tractors. <laughs> yes, and tractors. EV, TFL Tractor. EV we'll Tractor. All, yeah, EV Tractor. That's well, <laughs> okay. We'll see all of you later.